Nella the Princess Knight. Nella the Princess Knight. Once there was a person who lived in the kingdom of Castlehaven. Princess Nella loved royal balls and fancy gowns, but she also dreamed of adventure. You see Nella? Whoa. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, I can't zoom it. One day, Princess Nella was walking in the royal garden when she spotted a small gate hidden behind some rose bushes. She pushed the gate open and stepped into... What did she step into? Dog poop? <laughs> Just joking. The Dragon Blossom Woods. There are all kinds of friendly creatures, such as chip squeaks and goopy eared freegles, fleagles, and Chris critter dragons. <clears throat> Not even, uh, Nella even saved a unicorn named Trinket, who was stuck in a bog. Look at Trinket stuck in the bog. Help, Nella. Pr the princess named, uh, invited Trinket back to the castle so she could take a royal bubble bath. I belong here. Trinket gave Nella a thank you gift. A twinkling stone called the Nightly Heart. <clears throat> Friendship makes it go stronger, and kindness makes it sparkle, said the unicorn. And when you need it most, it'll give you courage. Well, thank you, Trinket. One night, Nella and Trinket were enjoying a fancy campout when a dark shadow passed over the moon. You see the dark shadow? Yes. What is that? That now. Suddenly, a dragon swooped down and scooped up Trinket. Sleeping bag and all. It flew. It flew to far off somewhere peak. Oh no, Trinket is in danger. I've got to rescue her. But Nella was so nervous. If only I were daring and courageous as a knight. Nella thought as she clutched her heart-shaped stone. And even when she was scared, she set out to help Trinket. Along the way, Nella helped a chip, a chip squeak, chip squeak that had fallen from the tree. She also helped the floppy-eared Flegel get out of the thorny bush. Then Nella shared a snack with her hungry giant. Hey, man, you want a snack? Yes. Not far from Snowburst Peak, Princess Nella freed a buff a bafflin from the tangled vines. Thank you. The baffling was so grateful that she offered to fly Nella to the dragon's cave. It was dark and spooky inside the icy cave. Nella heard a strange sound. I always dreamed of doing great things, she said. And now I and now the greatest thing I could do is help a friend. Suddenly her heart shaped stone began to sparkle. My heart is bright. It's time to be a princess knight. My heart grows strong with all the courage and sword and boots. I look really bright. Now I am the princess knight. The, the sparkle sword around Nella and the gown became a suit of armor and her tiara became a handle of a glowing sword. Nella came to the edge of the deep crevice inside the cave. She tossed her sword into the air, then it became, became an archer's bow. She launched several ribbons, boom, 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 across the crevice, and the ribbons flew, and they weaved together to make a bridge. Princess Nella bravely climbed it onto the bridge and crossed over. Nella used her a shield as a snowboard, she slid down the icy slope and landed thump, in front of the dragon. Nella saw her sleeping bag and opened it. Trinket jumped out. The dragon was surprised. I didn't know there was a unicorn in there, she said. I only wanted a blanket because my cave is so cold and dreary. This, this calls for a cave makeover! A cave over! exclaimed Nella. Soon Nella and Trinket turned the dragon's 
lonely ice cave into a cozy home with flowers and fun. Wait, what are they drinking right there? Tea. And what do they have right there? Um, cupcakes. Ooh, that looks yummy. And a nice big piece of cake. cake. Yes. I love being a princess and a knight, Nella said. And she she and Trinket returned home. But helping, but helping friends really makes my heart sparkle. All done. All done. All done. Good night.